Hello everyone, this is your course instructor, Monisha Raj K.H., Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology. In this lecture video, we'll be continuing with Information Theory and Coding, Module 1. We'll be seeing about average information content of symbols in long dependent sequences, information rate, and we'll be seeing few numericals in this session. First, we'll know what is average information content of symbols in long independent sequences, also known as entropy. Let us consider the source alphabets S equal to S1, S2 up to SQ with probabilities P equal to P1, P2 up to PQ respectively. Let us also consider a long independent sequence of length L symbols. This long sequence then contains P1 into L number of messages of type S1, P2 into L number of messages of type S2, up to PQ into L number of messages of type SQ. We know that self-information of S1 is I1 equal to log of 1 by P1 to the base 2 bits. Therefore, P1 into L that is, the number of messages of type S1 contains P1L log of 1 by P1 bits of information. And P2 into L, number of messages of type S2 contains P2 into L log of 1 by P2 to the base 2 bits of information. Up to PQ into L, number of messages of type SQ contains pq into l log of 1 by pq bits of information. Next we need to see the total self-information content of the message. So the total self-information content of the message symbols is given by i total equal to p1 into l log of 1 by p1 to the base 2 plus P2 into L log of 1 by P2 to the base 2 plus PQ into L log of 1 by PQ bits. This can also be written as I total equal to L into summation I equal to 1 to Q PI log of 1 by PI. This is the total self-information content of the message symbols. Now, as per uh, what we are studying, we need to know what is average self-information. Average self-information is given by I total by L. We have calculated I total. So, substituting I total, we get it as H of S. That is average self-information equal to summation I equal to 1 to Q PI log of 1 by PI. It's always B to the base 2 bits per symbol. This average self-information is also called as entropy of sources and is always denoted by H of S. This is about average information content of symbols in long independent sequences. Next is information rate. What do you mean by information rate? Average source information rate is defined as the product of the average information content per symbol and symbol rate RS. Symbol rate RS is the fixed rate at which the symbols are emitted by the source, which is represented as symbols per second. What is information rate? It is nothing but the product of average information content per symbol and symbol rate, which can also be written as RS. That is capital R is equal to small r is into h of s bits per second. Information is rate is represented in bits per second. Next, we'll be seeing numericals on this. First one is a discrete source emits one of six symbols once every milliseconds. The symbol probabilities are 1 by 2, 1 by 4. 1 by 8, 1 by 16, 1 by 32, and 1 by 32, respectively. You need to find the source entropy and information rate. So what is the formula for source entropy? 
given first we'll, we'll see what they have given they've given you the probability that is p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 and p6 values next the steps are first you need to calculate h of s second symbol rate third information rate using the formula r is equal to small r is into h of s bits per second so first we'll be calculating h of s what is the formula for h of s as there are six probability values we'll, we'll be taking the limits to i equal to 1 to 6 pi log of 1 by pi to the base 2 substituting these probability values in this that is 1 by 2 log uh, log 2 base 2 plus 1 by 4 log 4 base 2 plus 1 by 8 log 8 base 2 plus 1 by 16 log 16 base 2 plus 2 into 1 by 32 log 32 by base 2 it's two times because we have 1 by 32 twice then substituting and uh, calculating this we'll get h of s as 1.9375 bits per symbol next is small rs remember uh, while studying information rate we had studied that uh, rs should be represented in symbols per second itself but here they have given in milliseconds so we need to convert it into symbols per second so r is equal to one symbol per millisecond according to the uh, question so converting into symbols per second we'll get it as r is equal to 10 power 3 symbol per second next information rate information rate formula is r is equal to small r is into h of s bits per second so substituting small r s as uh, 10 power 3 and h of s as 1.9375 we get it as 1937.5 bits per second this is how we calculate entropy and information rate next is we'll be seeing a problem where a code is composed of dots and dashes assume that a dash is three times as long as a dot and as one third the probability of occurrence calculate the information in a dot and a dash the entropy of dot dash code the average rate of information if a dot lasts for 10 milliseconds and this time is allowed between symbols so we need to calculate the information in a dot and a dash the entropy of dot and dash code and the average rate of information if a dot lasts for 10 milliseconds and if this time is allowed between symbols kindly read questions properly before starting it so we know that in a problem always the sum of the probabilities of the symbols is equal to one so p dot plus p dash equal to one okay in the question it's clearly given that dash is three times as long as the dot so p dash equal to 1 by 3 p dot substituting this in equation 1 that is p dot plus p dash equal to 1 we get p dot as 3 by 4 and p and later substituting this p dot uh, in equation 1 again we get it as p dash equal to 1 by 3 into 3 by 4 1 by 4 so probability of dot is 3 by 4 and probability of dash is 1 by 4 we get this values after uh, solving the equation next is uh, first question where we need to calculate the information in dot and dash how do you do that we know the uh, formula for information that is self information the information in dot i dot equal to log of 1 by p dot to the base 2 what is the value that we have got uh, for p dot it's 3 by 4 so substituting that p dot as a uh, 3 by 4 we get it as log of 4 by 3 to the base 2 solving this logarithmic value we get it as 0.415 bits similar way we need to calculate the information in a dash i dash equal to log of 1 by p dash what is the value that we've got for p dash it's 1 by 4 so substituting 1 by 4 for p dash we get it as log 4 to the base 2 solving this we get it as two bits this is for the first part of the question that is information in a dot and a dash the second is the entropy of dot and dash the entropy of dot and dash code is h of s equal to summation i equal to one to two as there are only two symbols that is dot and dash we'll be taking the limits to y equal to one uh, 
to 2 pi uh, into log of 1 by pi to the base 2 so p dot log of 1 by p dot to the base 2 plus p dash log of 1 by p dash to the base 2 p dot uh, value will be 3 by 4 p dash value will be 1 by 4 so substituting those values and solving we get entropy value as 0.8113 bits per symbol this is about the second part of the question Next is the third part of the question where they are asking you to calculate average rate of information if a dot lasts for 10 milliseconds and this time is allowed between symbols. So, first we will uh, take a scenario. See, uh, in this case we are taking uh, four symbols will be sent. Out of this there will be three dots and one dash. Three dots because in question they, are, they have given clearly that uh, a dash is three times as long as a dot. So, uh, we'll be taking four symbols which will be sent. Out of which three will be dots and one will be dash. Okay. And in uh, the third part of the question, they've also given that a dot lasts for 10 milliseconds and between each symbols, 10 milliseconds is there. So, in uh, from question, we get this values. And we have, we have also known that uh, dash is three times as long as dot. So, um, this dash will be 30 milliseconds as it is three times that of dots it will be 30 milliseconds so cal adding these 10 milliseconds for each of the dots and 30 milliseconds for a, a dash and between the symbols also they have told that it is 10 milliseconds so 10 mil 10 plus 10 plus 10 between the symbols it will be 40 milliseconds for each dots and a dash it will be 60 milliseconds so total time will be 100 milliseconds so here they have asked, they have asked you to calculate the information rate. So a total of 100 milliseconds is required to transport four symbols. The symbol rate uh, it, as it is in milliseconds, we need to convert it into uh, symbols per second. So it will be R is equal to 40 symbols per second. And we have calculated H of S as 0.8113, substituting in information rate R is equal to small r s into H of S, capital R is equal to 40 into 0.8113, we get capital RSS 32.452 bits per second. This is about the third part of the question. Next is, we'll be seeing a small uh, problem where find the entropy of the source in Nats per symbol of a source that emits one out of four symbols with probabilities one by two, one by four, one by eight, and one by eight. So they are asking you to calculate in NATS. NATS means to the base E. And uh, you need to keep in mind certain values for such type of problems. I'll tell you what are the values. So solution. First you need to calculate the normal entropy. That is in bits. Later you'll be converting it to NATS. So H of S equal to, as there are four probabilities, I equal to 1 to 4 PI log of 1 by PI to the base 2. Substituting the probability values as 1 by 2. Uh, for P1, 1 by 4 for P2, P3 and P4 are 1 by 8. So 2 into 1 by 8 log 8 to the base 2. Then solving this, we get H of S as 1.75 bits per symbol. So we, now we need to convert these bits into NATS. How will you do that? We use, we know this value. We need to keep this value in mind. That is, that is 1 bits equal to 0.693 NATS. So, if 1 bit is equal to 0.693 nats, 1.75 bits equal to how many nats? So we'll get it as 1.75 into 0.693 nats per symbol. So uh, solving this, we get it as H of S equal to 1.213 nats per symbol. This is about average symbol for average information content for independent sequences. We'll be seeing further in the next session. Thank you.